Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Matthews here again. This week we're looking at place value. We are reviewing how to compose and decompose numbers up to 100,000 and describe the relationship found in the base 10 place value system. As you can see here, we have a review of our anchor chart that we have, and it goes ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and a million. When you get to fourth grade, you will be discussing the millions place, but in third grade, you remember, we only go up to 100,000. Ways to show a number. We're looking at our standard form, just our numbers, our word form, our numbers written in words, base 10 form, expanded form, and we'll be working with those items today. Let's look at our first place value chart. We're going to fill this in uh, to refresh your memory. Now, in place value chart, we'll put the numbers. Expanded form, we'll put the numbers. In the written form, we'll write the words. Standard form, we'll write the number. And base 10 model is already here. So we have to decide for our base 10 model, what would that be? What do we have? So I see that the here, right here, we have a thousand, and then we have one hundred, and then we have another one hundred, then we have ten, ten, and another ten, and then we count one, two, three, four. So when I'm thinking about this number, I know that I only have one. 1,000, so I'm going to write it in the thousands place. Then I have one, two hundreds, so I'm going to write a two in the hundreds place. Then I have 10, 20, 30, so I have three tens, I'll write it in the tens place, and four ones. So when I'm looking at this in my place value chart, my place value chart basically tells me what my standard form should look like. So I have 1,234. That's my standard form. And so thinking about my standard form, that helps me with my written form because my written form says 1,234. That's my number. So I'm thinking about that. For me to put these in together for our base 10, I would have 1,000, and then I added 200s. So that means 1,000 plus 200 plus 30 plus 4. So my expanded form would be 1,000 plus 200 plus 30 plus 4. Let's look at another one. This time, there isn't a base 10 model. This time there's a written form. There's 2,142. So I'm going to write that in my place value. So it says I need a two for the thousands place, 2,000. I need a one for the hundreds place. I need a four because 40 is four tens. And two for my two ones. So now I can write my standard form. So it looks like this, 2,142. So when I'm thinking about this in my expanded form, I know I have 2,000 plus 100 plus 40 plus 2. And so for my expanded form, it would look like this. So base 10, I know I need 2. 1,000 blocks, so here's my 1,000 block and my other 1,000 block. And then I need one 100, so here's my 100 block. And then I need four tens and two ones. So when I'm looking at it, I have my two thousands, my one 100, my four tens, and my two ones. Let's look at another one. This one time, we have our expanded form, and now we have to figure out how to get our base 10 model and our written form. So I like to use my place value chart as you see. I know that my expanded form says I have 3,000, so that means I have a three and a thousandths place. I have 50, so I have five tens, because five tens tells me it's 50, and only one one. Well, if I don't have a number in the hundreds place, when I look over here, there's no hundreds. 
then I have to put a zero. So now my place value chart has told me that my standard form will be 3,051. And when I think about what 3,051, 3,051. I write it just like I say it. So for my uh, base 10 model, that means I need 1,000 block, 2,000, 3,000. Then I need five tens and one one. 3,051. And that's my answer. This week, you'll be seeing some work like this. It says the value of the digit five in the number 567 is 10 times the value of the digit five in which one of the following numbers. So again, I like to use my place value chart. So I'm going to go right up to my place value chart. I'm going to think about what numbers they're talking about. We're looking for only the five, but it's in this place right here. And it has to be 10 times something else. So I'm going to put my number in my place value chart to see where that five is. 567. And if you could remember when we were in school that we talked about when you have the tens place, it is 10 times greater than the number that's in the ones place. And the hundreds place is 10 times greater than the number that's in the tens place. And the thousands place is 10 times greater than the number in the hundreds place. And 10,000 is 10 times greater than the thousand. And 100,000 is 10 times greater than 10,000. And that's if all the digits are all the same number. So if this is a five and this is a five, it would be 10 times greater because that's the value of it. So if they're asking us about which one would be 10 times greater. Well, we know that it would be in the tens place. So we're looking for a number that would fall in the tens place. So I'm going to go over there and check out my answer choices. So uh, this one would be the ones place, as we know. Because all our numbers start on the ones place. This is the ones. This is the tens. And this is the hundreds, where the five is. So hundreds are 10 times greater. So we are looking for the five that's in the tens place. That's right. So when I go down and I look, I say, oh, I found my answer, but I'm going to put it on the chart just to make sure. So I think I found my answer. It's 2,854. And when I go up here, I'm going to read my question again. It says, uh, the value of the five in the number 567 is 10 times the value of the digit five in which one of the following numbers. So this five in this number is in the hundreds place. So I need to look at the numbers in the tens place. And yes, indeed, our answer is D because it is in the tens place. Boys and girls, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you are stuck on place value, I will uh, encourage you to watch it over and over as many times as you need to. And thank you for doing such an awesome job with your math. Now have a great day, Tigers. Bye.